Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to do a red look for you guys. My mom was like, Chelsea, you haven't done a red look in a while. And I was like, you're right. Plus, I wanted to do a glitter look because people have been asking me for glitter and I have not done a glitter look in months. So, here is the look that I came up with. If you guys want to see how to recreate this look, please keep watching. So I'm just going to set my eyelid using the excess foundation from when I did my face. And just setting that foundation using Huda Beauty's Easy Bake Loose Setting Powder in Banana Bread. And I'm gonna set my eyelid using this Bow Bell E1 brush. Go all the way up to the brow bone. So for my eyeshadow today, I'm gonna be going in using Huda Beauty's Ruby Obsessions. I'm gonna start by using this peachy color as my transition shade. I'm gonna take this color on this JH30 brush. Blend that into my crease. Next, I'm going to deepen that up a little bit using this bright pink. And I'm going to be using this color on my JH36 brush. And as always, if any lines are created, just take that first brush and blend those two together. And then I'm gonna go in with this deep maroon and just darken that up using my GH37 brush. You really wanna pack this one in there because you want it to be as dark as possible. I'm gonna take that hot pink brush these together as best as possible. Kind of a vein right here where my eyeshadows transition, so it's really annoying because I can never tell if I blended it well enough. Perfect. So next I'm going to cut my crease three quarters of the way on my eyelid. And to do this, I'm going to be using Anastasia Beverly Hills Beige Stick Foundation. And I'm going to take this on my Anastasia Beverly Hills A2 Flat Concealer Brush and cleaning that line up with this Sigma E11 Eyeliner Brush. So I'm going to take that and just draw a line like that. And then looking up. And I'm going to use the eyeliner brush to just clean up that line. By looking up like that, that means when you open your eye, it won't transfer up higher. So you always want to make sure that it's as far as your eye will open. So because this is still damp, I'm going to go ahead in with some glitter and I'm going to be using Glitter Realms, bright red glitter, and then fade that into this darker red glitter for the outer half. I'm going to be using this Makeup Forever 174 Flat Concealer Brush. And if you need to, you can hold a tissue or something under your eye if you've already done your face like me. I'm going to go back in with that eyeliner brush and just take a bit of that glitter so I can get the edges. And next I'm going to go into that darker glitter. I'm just going to try and blend these two glitters as best as I can and brush it away from my face. Now I'm gonna go back in with that dark maroon red and just darken up the outer V. 
I'm also going to grab a little bit of this dark purpley just so that the black comes through. And I'm going to mix those two colors just so I can get a bit of darkness in here. Whatever's left over and make sure that it fades into that corner. I'm going to be using this JH39 brush and picking up some of that peach color and blending that on my bottom lash line. Next I'm going to go in with that pink, the hot pink and just do that right on the lash line a little bit. And then the maroon. Then I'm just going to take that big peach brush and just blend this out. Alright, so next I'm going to use some liner and I'm going to be using LA Colors Precise Eye Marker. Doing eyeliner on top of glitter is rough. Alright, so next up is lashes, and I'm going to be using Velour Lashes in Sinful. Please don't fall out like you always do. So next I'm just going to do my highlight really quick, and I'm going to be using Max Iridescent Powder. And this is in Golden Bronze. I'm going to take some of this on my Anastasia Beverly Hills A23 brush. I like this color because it just blends in with my skin tone. So it's not so harsh for this look. Because it's already so dark on the eyes, I don't want everything else to be like boom bam in your face. I'm also going to use that brush that I use for my under eyes to highlight my brow bone with the same highlighter. I'm going to use my pinky because that just always comes out brighter. So lastly, I'm just going to do my lips and I'm going to be using Max Alaya Lip Pencil in Follow Your Heart, which is red. And I'm going to kind of ombre my lips using MAC Retro Matte Lip Liquid Lip Color in Love Weapon and Retrograde. Metallic Retrograde, I guess. So these two. I'm just going to put on a little bit of lip balm so my lips don't crust. And it's really bright, but I'm just using this as a guideline so I don't get this out of my lip line. And then I'm just going to put a little bit of that retrograde on the inside. And this is the final look. I want to thank you guys so much for watching this tutorial and supporting my channel. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos. Hopefully you guys like this look and want to recreate it. If you guys have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave a comment below and I will 100% get back to you guys. And I'll see you guys in my next video.